Hello kiddos! Have you ever wondered who Martin Luther King Jr. was before he became a famous civil rights leader? Let's journey back to a winter's day on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. A baby boy was born to the King family, named Martin Luther King Jr. His father, Martin Luther King Sr., was a respected minister, and his mother, Alberta Williams King, was a talented musician. Young Martin grew up in a warm, loving home where he was taught to value education and equality. Martin was a bright spark. His intelligence shone through from an early age leading him to exceptional academic feats. His thirst for knowledge was so profound that he skipped two grades in high school. At the tender age of 15 he was admitted to Morehouse College, a historically black college in Atlanta. This was no small feat, and it was a clear indication of the great things that lay ahead for him. Despite his youthful age Martin Luther King Jr. was already showing signs of greatness. So, how did Martin Luther King Jr. become such a prominent figure in the civil rights movement? Well, it all began with his education. King attended Crozer Theological Seminary and Boston University. It was here that he developed his belief in peaceful protest, inspired by the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi. His first major step into the public eye came in 1955. King played a crucial role in the Montgomery Bus Boycott, an event that challenged racial segregation in public transportation. This peaceful protest lasted for over a year, and its success brought King into national prominence. Following the boycott, King helped to establish the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. As a leader within this organization, he continued to champion the cause of civil rights, encouraging people to stand up against injustice, not with violence, but with powerful words and peaceful demonstrations. With his powerful speeches and peaceful protests, Martin Luther King Jr. became a beacon of hope for many. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream, but do you know what that dream was? Let's journey back to 1963. On a bright summer day in August, thousands gathered in Washington, D.C., and King stood at the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, ready to share his dream with the world. He began his speech with a vision, a dream where all people, no matter their skin color, would be treated equally and fairly. He dreamed of a world where his four children would not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. He dreamed of a day when freedom and justice would be a reality for everyone. This wasn't just any dream, it was a powerful message, a beacon of hope. It stirred the hearts of many and inspired them to fight for change. His dream became a rallying cry for change and equality. Martin Luther King Jr.'s life was cut short, but his legacy lives on. How does it impact us today? In the spring of 1968, the world was shocked by the tragic assassination of King. This profound loss was felt not only in America but across the globe sparking a wave of sorrow and outrage. In response to this tragedy, a special day was established in his honor. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a day we now celebrate every year to remember his dream and his fight for equality. King's legacy didn't stop there. He was posthumously honored with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, one of the highest civilian honors in the United States. His memory is also immortalized in a national memorial on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., standing tall among the monuments of other great leaders of history. Martin Luther King Jr.'s life and legacy continue to inspire us all to stand up for equality and justice. He was not just a king by name but a king in the fight for civil rights.